Hello, please do like and subscribe if you aren't already. So for a while now, uh, if you've been following me in real time, so you'll follow me each week, then you'll know that I'm working on a, a new body of work or a new series about what I'm calling the ramshackles, the old uh, dilapidated buildings, primarily um, the, the fishermen's huts and uh, the farm buildings. Uh, and you'll have seen me uh, sort of share my, some of my drawings for that. But those really, and the work on location is really a lead in to uh, the paintings. And I haven't really talked about that at all. And what I do when I start a new body of work uh, is obviously I do the work on location and that's what you've seen. And then I've come back to the studio and done more drawings. And it's that work which then I sort of surround myself with. And I'll just remind you uh, as part of it. So I put all of the drawings up on the wall uh, behind my work sort of area. Um, and those act as ongoing inspiration. Um, but when I'm starting a new uh, amount of body of work, it's uh, it's much more than that, that I sort of gather, if you like. So this is a kind of a gathering exercise that I do at the start of my work. And I thought today what I would do is I would share with you my five key things that I gather together um, as I'm starting uh, to uh, to develop the work. And so the first thing that I do is that I uh, collect, gather and surround myself with imagery. And uh, you will have seen this in a previous video, but I'm just showing you uh, for completeness, really. This is the uh, wall of uh, my my area of, above my desk. Um, and this is just showing some of the work that I did on location that I surround myself with. And the other aspect is that on my uh, laptop, I gather all of the images, photos and everything into a folder. And I use this as reference. Um, so some of these is, are drawings that you can see that I've done. But uh, the other thing about it is that quite a lot of them, if I scroll up in the other direction, you can see uh, these images that really are showing me the physical nature of these ramshackles because the textures of these buildings are really important. So zoomed in uh, images of uh, the wood and uh, the materials um, are really important um, and I kind of use these as a library, a reference library, and I'm looking through them and studying them. I might even do some drawings from them, but there and and create papers that are reflective of them uh, for my for my for my collage. So that's a really important resource. So imagery um, is the first uh, thing really uh, that I'm gathering. And the second uh, thing I gather that um, I really find very important and that I start to work in is uh, what I would call a series a sketchbook and I do this for all of my different series of work so this is my ramshackles ones one and the first thing that I do is I actually create the cover uh, which I've used acrylic paint and mixed media but the the thing about that is it kind of helps me also to start thinking about colour palette and so on and then um, I start writing in the journal and uh, I, I, I gather quotes and this is going this is my one of my first page abandoned beauty to notice the beauty in things left behind is to see the soul of the life it once lived which I think is wonderful I'm very reminiscent of the ramshackles and I've been doing some research around Rab wabi sabi uh, and uh, starting to, to write a list of all of the things about the subject matter that interests me so in any case, this is the second thing, is actually pulling together a sketchbook and starting to document. And this is the colour palette that I used for the cover. It won't stay the same, it will evolve, but it's a start point. Uh, and the other thing in terms of sketchbooks is that if you have seen uh, some other beep videos, you've probably seen me create these background collages ready for working over as I'm working in the studio um, about the ramshackles. And I've got uh, a larger A5 one and then I've got a pocket one. Uh, so that's a bit a bit smaller and and that's sort of a, a basis for for work and I'll work over that and uh, it won't you know won't sort of necessarily directly go into the paintings but it's a process and it will help me to start thinking think about how I lay a, lay a collage and create uh, the work that I want to create on the actual painting surfaces 
So the third thing I need to do is I'm gathering my paints and my papers together. Um, and so I've got a kind of a collection of paints ready that I've started to, you know, just to think about what colours I'm going to be using. And I've obviously got to do quite a lot of exploration on the colour palette. But to start with, I'm gathering the paints I might want. And I've already got a couple of new colours as a result of thinking about the Ramsack Shackles. So this is a wallet so far, and I'll have much more. I might even have a box of them or at least a, a, larger, a larger sort of container for them. But these are papers that I started to use and have been using uh, to create the collage back Grounds, but I'm going to need a lot more uh, for the actual paintings themselves and these are some that I created on the gel plate but now as a result and here's some black and white ones actually um, that were from some drawings of the ramshackle so that will be those will be really useful actually um, just ripped up drawings and I will be creating some more specific papers uh, using the gel plate, using stenciling, whatever method I want to use to create some bespoke papers uh, for the ramshackle specifically. You saw me show you those photographs and I obviously want to create some papers that reflect that texture. So that is the third uh, thing I'm gathering, my materials. And number four is uh, the surfaces, working out what surfaces I'm going to be using for these paintings. And I've decided I'm going to be using chunky uh, cradle panels and these um, are six inch squares so they're the smaller ones and I'm and I've got a number of those I've got nine of those and I've got some of these bigger and these are 16 inch 40 centimeters square and they are chunky as well five centimeters and so I've decided that I want them chunky and I'm going to paint the sides and I'm not going to frame them because the ramshackles to me don't need um, some sort of frame they, they're going to be better on these raw, more raw looking uh, chunky uh, pieces of wood so I've made that decision I might add some different sizes I'm obviously going to have some more paperworks but generally these are going to be my sort of start points these chunky uh, cradle panels so and number five the fifth thing I'm gathering is I often will gather uh, related art books or texts or well, things that are kind of, you know, have some relevance, but are, are quite different. They're not necessarily literally about it. This is just a gathering of books that are really about texture and surfaces, because that has been become a fascination with respect to the ramshackles. So um, I've got this because this is really inspiring. This is from a textile artist, Debbie, uh, Debbie uh, Lydon. And, and so there's some really lovely imagery in here. And so this is really just for inspiration. Uh, so that's one thing. Uh, another uh, book, which is from Anita Re Reynolds of her work in Dartmoor, some beautiful textured uh, work in here too. And then finally, this text, which has been a, a, a love of mine for a very long time, which is called The Elements of Design. And it's all about texture and, and form and, and it's got some really beautiful imagery. And, and these are just uh, books that are relevant to how I'm going to be exploring uh, the textures and the materiality um, of the ramshackles. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, please do like and subscribe and I'd love to hear your comments. And just finally, before I go, I will put a link to my ramshackle drawings that are available and on display in the cathedral in Manchester. And you can purchase them direct on the website and for collection uh, in October. So I'll put the link uh, to that. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.